Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. Hi everyone, I'm DJ's Aviation. Today I'll be discussing Japan Airlines and their investment in the Boom Supersonic Jet. This video was requested by a Super Chat donator during a live stream by the name of James Brown. I'd like to thank you very much for this suggestion and of course your generosity. This news isn't completely new and hasn't come out in the past week, rather this was made apparent back in December of last year. I've made a few videos now on Boom Technologies Supersonic Jet. If you want to check those ones out before you watch this, I'll be leaving them as cards right about now. In the top right of your screen, they should appear. As the title pretty much states, Japan Airlines have in fact invested in Boom Technologies. This is a Denver-based company that pretty much wants to revive supersonic air travel by the middle of the next decade. At this stage, JAL have invested 10 million US dollars. Through the investment, this has allowed Japan Airlines to receive the option to purchase as many as 20 of the supersonic planes. The investment signals the intent from Japan Airlines that they see a world where flights from Tokyo to Los Angeles can be completed in five and a half hours. Supersonic air travel hasn't been a thing since 2003 when the Concorde was retired from service, so it is a huge statement from Boom Technologies to be aiming to do this sort of thing, especially by the next decade. At this stage, the proposed supersonic jet would seat 45 to 55 in business class only. So it'd be the definition of luxury, which does make sense with the aircraft being capable of traveling up to 2.2 times the speed of sound, which is around 1,450 miles per hour or 2,333 kilometers per hour. With the reduced traveling times and the business class layout, a trip on board this aircraft would no doubt take a big dip into your pocket. Japan Airlines investment of 10 million means that Boom has raised a total of US 51 million and according to multiple reports from various agencies and Boom leaders, they believe more funds are in the pipeline. So what happens with the money invested? Through the large amount of cash, Boom will be able to create a very small two-seat demonstration aircraft which will allow it to perform flights. The title of this aircraft is still unknown but many have dubbed it to be the XB-1. If all goes according to plan, this could be flying by the end of the year or next year. However, just because Japan Airlines have invested doesn't mean that this project is guaranteed to succeed. A number of factors stand in Boom's way. Funds are ultimately the biggest hurdle. Boom will actually need billions to begin proper production of this supersonic jet, and they don't have that yet. Boom have stated that they need a total of 76 supersonic jets sold if it has any chance to succeed, and with JAL holding a rights to 20, Virgin Atlantic have options to also purchase the first 10. Qatar, among these two carriers, have also stated their interest, but as of yet, nothing firm has come about from these talks. Of course, a key motivation for Japan Airlines is the shortened flight times. This doesn't just go for operations to America. Flights from Tokyo to Hong Kong could be cut down to two hours rather than five. This means even flights within Australia could be cut down and this could be a huge boost to carriers operating flights on the routes with the most demand like Melbourne to Sydney. But with 45 to 55 business class seats only, this supersonic jet could be out of reach in terms of ticket prices for the normal traveller. I'd like to thank James once again for his suggestion, and I do hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, well,